Hey, this is Lee Waller, and welcome to this tutorial in Premiere Pro. Today, I'm going to take a look at Essential Graphics. Here I have this sequence that I've cut together with some audio and some voiceovers. I'm going to add graphics into these using the Essential Graphics in Premiere Pro. Up here at the top of Premiere, you'll find a number of different workspaces listed, and you can click on Graphics. From there, you'll find the Essential Graphics palette. It starts off showing you the templates, and you can open up these templates, apply them, and work with them, and they're a good place to start. I'm going to jump over to Edit and start building my own graphics. Here in Edit, you'll see that we start off pretty much with nothing there, so we're going to need to click on this tab right here, and you'll find five different options that we have. First thing I'm going to do is add some text in, so I'm going to click on Text. You'll see that the palette loads up a text layer, and then all of the properties that we can use to adjust that layer. So I'm going to double click right here and you'll see now in the program window, this new text layer, and I'm going to type in real quick the word focus. I'm going to grab my selection tool and I'm going to move this down right in about this area here. And I'll take a look now at the options that we have. We can align and transform this in the program monitor. We can position it, scale it up or down, change the anchor point, rotation, and then also opacity. Down below that, you'll find where you can change the type of font. You can click here, and whatever fonts you have listed on your machine, you can begin to work with those. You can also change the weight and the style, the size of it, and then uh, whether you want to center a line, left a line, and then below that, we'll have the fill, a stroke, background, and shadow. For right now, I've set up this text the way that I want it using Avenir Next Ultralight at a font size of 100. When I added that in, Premiere added this text layer in the sequence for me. So here's the text layer, and it has a default time of about five seconds. I can move that around, place it where I would like to. I'm going to drop it right there. Uh, that comes in about where she says the word focus. So I'm going to play that real quick. Focus is critical. Okay. And I'm going to work with that. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to let it cut in like that, and then I'm going to dissolve it out. So with that selected, I'm going to Control D or Command D, and I'm going to get rid of that first dissolve in because I want it to cut. And now it'll dissolve out. Okay. I have to see the next moment of my life. But what I can do with this text layer is I can copy it, Control C or Command C, and I'm going to jump to the edit point. I want another text layer, and I'm going to paste that. I need to make sure that I have that layer selected only. Paste that in. And so now there is that same text layer, but what I can do now is, is click on that in the program monitor, and it loads that instance of the text layer, and I can edit that now. And I'm gonna change this to the word energy. And again, grab my selection tool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this layer, Control-C, Command-C, and then paste it Command-V or Control-V. And I have two instances of that there. What I'm going to do on the second one is I'm going to type in the word control. Duplicate that one. Control C, control V. Double click on it. And now I have those three words, all the energy, power, and control. What I'm going to do is I want energy on the other side. So I'll select that layer. And I'm going to move that over here. And the word power, I want it to be in the middle. So I'll click on it, drag that to the middle. And so those are lined up where I want them. And now I'm going to go into their controls individually and have them all each dissolve in. To get to the effect controls for each of these layers, I'm going to go over here now to the source window and click on the tab effect controls. If you don't have that, you can go up to window and drop down and there's effect controls and click on that. 
And you'll see here that I have those three text layers. If I open those up, you'll see all of the properties for them. The reason I'm working over here is that I can add in keyframes. I want to animate the opacity for each of these separately. So I'm going to open up the text layer energy first, and then I'm going to scroll down to where opacity is. I'm going to jump to the front of that layer there and set a keyframe. You'll see that that keyframe drops in right there. I'm going to drag that opacity down to zero. Then I'm going to hold down shift and use my right arrow key to jump about 15 frames. And then I'm going to bring that opacity back up to 100%. Let me zoom into the timeline just a little bit. And so the next word will start about right there. So again, clicking on that, coming up here to the text layer for power. I'm going to scroll that open, jump down to opacity, same thing. Set a keyframe right there, bring that opacity down to zero. Shift and then right arrow three times over and then bring that opacity up to 100%. And we're almost there for control. Do the same thing. Scroll that open, jump down to opacity, set my first keyframe there, bring it down to 0%, shift and right arrow over three times and bring that opacity up to 100%. And now let's take a look at that. We'll jump back and play. All the energy, power and control. Okay. And then you're gonna let that dissolve out. For the approach. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump back to that first text layer, copy it, control C, command C, and I'm going to jump down here and right there, paste it in. So I have another instance of that. Let me slide in here in the timeline and select that. And so I'm going to change that now to for the approach. To the word approach, I'm just going to double click on that layer, highlights that text, and type in approach. Definitely going to need to slide that over a little bit. And there we go. And that one should be in place, approach, ready to go. Every step is measured. Every ounce of. Okay, so I'm going to adjust that one a little bit so that we can see it right there. Back up again. For the approach, every step is measured. Every ounce of power is calculated. Time and angle can't be missed. Takeoff is... Now on the back end here, I'm going to add a little tag to this. And in this one, I'm going to add a shape layer. So I'm just going to select the sequence here. going to start a new text layer. And I'm going to create a rectangle. And this rectangle right here, we're going to make a few adjustments to it. I'm going to go ahead and drag it down to this area right here. And I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit, maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to bring down the opacity of this a good bit. About like that. And I'm going to animate that in. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and drag this on out to the end of the sequence. I want to animate this coming in from the right side right here. To do that, I'm going to jump back over here, make sure that that layer is selected, and I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to use the position controls for that entire layer rather than that shape. And we'll set a keyframe right there for position. And I'm going to scrub that off just so that that rectangle is just out of view there. And I'm going to jump forward about 15 frames. Again, hold down the shift key and then right arrow over three times. And that'll get us about 15 frames. And then I'm going to just drop that back to 960. And we'll take a look at that animation real quick. All right, that works great. Now I'm going to add another text layer in right above it for some actual text. What I need to do is make sure that that track is selected so when I add this graphic in, it'll drop there. Click on text. There's a text layer, but the text that I want 
I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to use this to animate part of a tagline in. So let me double click this. And the first part of the tagline is going to be know your limitations. Now, of course, that text layer is a little bit bigger than I need it. So I'm going to drag down the size of that text. Like I'll get maybe about 55. I can actually change the color of this font back to white. So I'm going to click there. Drag that down. So know your limitations. So that is our first text layer. And I'm going to add one more on top of it because I'm going to animate these separately. Make sure that this layer is selected now. Click text. There is our new text layer. Double click on it. And I'm going to type in, grab my selection tool, bring this down. I'm going to make a few changes to this text layer. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Select that layer and let's bring that up a bit, a little too much. So I'll leave it about 72. I'm going to select this part of the text and I'm going to change that to demi bold italic. I want to animate both of these lines of text in separately. I'm going to use a mask to do that. I need to set up the timing also a little bit. So with that layer of text selected, let's come over to the effect tab and let's drop down to opacity. And this square here that says create four point polygon mask, I'm going to select it and it drops in this mask right here and it causes the text to disappear. Now, if we'll grab this, drag it over our text, you'll see now we can see it. Adjust these four corners here so that the mask covers this area. And so now you see that the mask is allowing us to see, and that's how I'm going to animate this. So get that right there. I'm going to animate this mask, and when we do that, it's going to reveal this text. To animate this, let me make sure that I'm at the beginning of my layer here. So right there is where I want to be because I want to set a first keyframe in the effect tab right here. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to select mask path. There's my first keyframe. I'm actually going to move that mask over this way and jump in, hold down shift, arrow over. And now I'm going to grab that and drag it back in so that it reveals the text. And so now that mask is animated. And I'm going to do the same with the bottom layer of text. I'm going to jump over here to the Effect Controls tab. And under Opacity, I'm going to click on the square there to create that polygon. I'm going to drag it down here and make some adjustments to this so that it will reveal the entire text layer. And now I'm gonna animate that mask. Again, over here in my under opacity, you see mask one that has been added. I'm gonna click that stopwatch. Select mask one so that I can see it, drag it, drag it off to the left. Then jump in about 20 frames, hold down shift and then arrow to the right. And now I'm going to drag that mask back in. And so let's see. All right, last thing I need to do on this is I need to dissolve all of these out. So I'm just going to select all of them and do a control D, but I'm going to need to delete the cross dissolve at the beginning. Just select each of them and hit delete and we'll take a look at it again. Comes together. All right, I hope this has been helpful. For more on Premiere Pro and After Effects, please check out my other tutorials.